welcome back to the final part of the show now with, and I'm so sorry to remind you, indoor dining being pushed back to hopefully late. Late July, are we hoping? We might be having more summer picnics than expected. Ashling Larkin has prepped the perfect dish to have on a sunny day. Uh, remind us what you're making, Ashling. Oh, deliciousness. Just okay. to try and help us a little bit. And it's lovely for in the garden because this can be done on the barbecue, it can be done in the oven, it can be done on the pan, you can cook it however you want. Uh, so we're doing tikka salmon skewers Yum. with a beautiful creamy cucumber salad. So it's really, really lovely. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the salmon. So this is really lovely, you can prep lots of this in advance um, and have it made up and in the fridge. So if you did have a few people over in the garden, it could be ready and just pop it on the barbecue when they arrive. So I've got lovely salmon fillets, skinned, ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them into just four pieces each. So you want big chunks because salmon is, it's quite delicate. Yeah. For it to go on the barbecue or something like that, it's, you know, you don't want it to fall apart yeah. before yeah. You, you hand it, which does happen, by the way. Um, so just keep it nice and keep it chunky. And then we're gonna put it on skewers. You don't have to put it on skewers. You could bake it, just put a little bit of butter over it on a tray and bake it in the oven. But for the lovely, delicious dressing, what I have is some gorgeous tikka paste. Yeah. Shop bought, didn't make it. It will be grand. Yeah, you need a few it's little cheats. You know, yeah. on the sunny days, Completely. you don't want all day in the kitchen. You know, you want something that's going to look lovely, taste delicious, but that's a bit quick. And as in well. all fairness, you're giving us ideas that it's not just you know burgers on the barbecue to oh, do something yeah. a little bit different. And fish is one of those things that it is lovely in the summer because it's so light. It's mm. really, really nice. And, and it cooks quick. Totally, it's done in minutes. It really is. And you know, there's so many people who have those. Um, like the Kamado barbecues or the big green egg ones that are kind of like an outdoor oven or like I think everyone in the country has a, a pizza oven in their garden this summer. Right. Like you could totally do it. Do this in any of those and it would work really lovely. So what I've used is coconut yogurt. So I'm really trying to inspire those kind of Indian flavours. So we've got the tikka paste and a coconut yogurt. It's um, it's an Alpro one. It's a, like um, a vegan one. But I mean, natural yogurt would be fine. Greek yogurt would be fine. Any kind of yogurt works yeah. really, really well. Pop your salmon in. You don't have to spend an hour or two hours marinating this in advance. It's literally just put it in, put it on the skewer, put it on the barbecue, job done. done. You can, by all accounts, have it ready in the next morning, but it's so rich and it's so creamy. And when the tikka and the paste and the coconut and the yogurt kind of cooks, it gives a, a lovely crust. And some of the little bits get a little bit charred, mm. so it's really, really nice. Top tip for your bamboo, bamboo skewers, soak them. Um, in hot water for 10 or 15 minutes. So I, these just soaking in water um, for about 10 or 15 minutes and it stops them getting that really black charred effect on, oh. um, on the barbecue or in the oven. So oh, that's right. a really nice top tip. You could add loads of veggies in here. You yeah. could add courgettes and peppers and all of that. But I'm gonna let just the salmon sing really, really simple on its own. And I'm gonna show you how to make the delicious salad. So I normally try and put like maybe three pieces of salmon, but mm -hmm. you can see like, I mean, they're quite substantial. Yeah, yeah completely. You know, they're really nice. Dumps, yeah. Extra marinade over the top. And then if you're going to bake these in the oven, they cook really quickly in the oven. You'll have them done in about eight minutes, but get your oven hot. 220, really hot oven. So you're replicating almost that like tandoor oven or the, you know, the, that's where the hot pizza oven, oven gotcha. works really, really well. So, so at 220 and then bring it down when they go in? Or nope. do you want to keep it at no, 220? No. Leave it at 220. All right. Yeah, leave it and let them cook away. And like I said, about eight minutes, we'll do those. And um, they'll be perfect, really, really nice. Okay. And then we're going to make our salad. And like I said, guys, this is made in minutes. It's really lovely. This salad is... So different, but it's like so much flavor. I've given this to six people who don't like cucumber. They now like cucumber like, <laughs> because it kind of doesn't taste like cucumber, which is kind of the nice thing right. about it. You're always on a mission to go, I make them eat that. Listen, if I can get people to eat one more fruit or vegetable yeah. along the way, I am. Yeah, um, but yeah. if they don't eat it, do you hold their nose and force them? Tell the truth. I would never. I would never. Okay. It's absolutely voluntarily. I want to show you two different types of cucumbers. Mm -hmm. I have a Kirby cucumber. Um, a wild cucumber, or I have what we know classically in the supermarket as your English cucumber. A little bit of biodiversity, a little bit of sustainability. It's good to have a what, different is, variety. It, it, did the curvy fall out of fashion because it's bumpy and the other one is smooth? <laughs> like. Mr. Kirby there. <laughs> Not necessarily. It's just we've become so conditioned in the supermarket to have one particular type of of everything, you know, and if it doesn't mm. look perfect, exactly. well then are we not buying it? Right. Wonky veg are okay to buy and getting a Amen. different variety and th those would be much more similar. If you grew your own cucumbers at home, that's what you'd end up with okay. as opposed to the, the English cucumber. So what I've done for the salad is I have peeled the cucumber. Now normally I wouldn't, 
but what we lose in nutrients, I'm happy to sacrifice for the amazing flavor that you get. Texturally, you just don't have quite that, the skin on it. And it right. just makes the whole salad so, so creamy. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I've got my two varieties of cucumber going in there. Then I am going to push, I might as well put them all in because oh, this sure. will be devoured. Next up, I have some radishes. Again, radishes are in season at the moment and you've got that lovely color. So mm -hmm. these are just a little bit spicy. You know, that tiny hint of pepperiness. Do you not like radishes? I love them so oh, much do you? that people often think I'm pregnant because I'll just pop them in my mouth like they're like a sweet. There yeah, you go. I absolutely love them. They're gorgeous. They're so, so lovely. And they just have that undercurrent. This is very subtle. Like it's a really subtle, subtle dish. I'm going to show you what I'm putting in next, which is samphire. So samphire is traditionally, well, do you know samphire? Yeah, yes, I do. That will spice it up as well. Yeah. And you know what? It's salty. So what you're doing, cucumbers need a little bit of salt, but naturally, we're not adding extra salt, we're allowing the samphire to be the kind of the salty natural ingredient that's going yes. in. Traditionally goes really well with fish, it's absolutely lovely. Can you get it everywhere? Some of the supermarkets have started to stock it. Like about two years ago, you wouldn't have got it anywhere no. except for a fishmonger or you went and picked it yourself, um, which might have been a stretch too far. <laughs> so, yeah. but yeah, like the big supermarkets, I got that in a big supermarket, like, yesterday and it was no hassle no it hassle there pre yeah, ready I'm starting to, go. to see it more and more yeah really and it's 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 really really salty but like you know my little girl Isabella and she was picking away at it last night and eating it raw and she couldn't get over this kind of salty flavor that it was it's, it is and so naturally you're not adding any extra salt but it does need seasoning with black pepper now as well you're gonna stir it all around I popped in a little red onion Again, a little bit of variety, a little bit of diversity. It's just a different form of it. And in the summer, you can totally do that. It's nice to kind of mix things up a little. And this is kind of a little bit reminiscent of a tzatziki, which is that really cooling. So it's really cool, really creamy. So it goes lovely with the heat. And I don't put in a huge amount of tikka paste into that salmon because I don't like hugely spicy food. I, I, I like to taste okay. yeah. the salmon on the skewer. Was if that you the want to coconut um, yogurt as well. That's sour cream. Oh, it's sour cream. Yeah, and okay. if you're watching the calories or anything like that, or the saturated fat, heart disease, anything like that, just use the low fat sour cream. And you okay. actually do get a nice finish. Don't dress this salad until you're ready to eat. Have the dressing made up, have the cucumbers ready and everything ready, but don't dress it. What happens is the salt tends to draw the water out of the cucumbers and it goes quite watery and soggy. And you want it actually to be this beautiful crispness. You want really, it to be crisp. Really crisp. Yeah. Okay. okay. To that, I'm going to add some mint and some coriander, and then I have some whole grain rice and white rice there that I'm going to add a little bit of pomegranate to. Coriander, mint, and dill are the three herbs, and I'm going to take that salmon out of the oven now. And it's going to be Absolutely delicious. delicious. As you're taking that out, um, Martin was mentioning his favourite sandwiches a little bit earlier Well, do you know what? I actually enjoyed me squashed up jam sandwiches on the beach. Your jam sandwiches like on the beach. Of orange. Jennifer, we used to have soggy tomato sangers on Claremont Beach in Sutton when I was a kid. Puke Ooh. is what she says to that one. Uh, Gemma and Rahini uh, said uh, that's in Dublin. My memory of sandwiches from my childhood were at the beach eating squashed salad sandwiches with red bread. Uh, they'd be red because the beetroot would have soaked through. Yum. You'd take a bite and it'd be full of sand, but it's still delicious. This is Gemma. So good. Thank you. There's so many comments. Sorry oh, we can't awesome. get to them. Have a look at what Ashling has done here. Go on, Ashling. Beautiful. Delicious. It looks amazing. It looks so go. good. So tasty. Really okay. fresh, really light, perfect for okay. the summer. And that is all we've got time for tonight, folks. Thanks to all of our guests for joining us. And of course, to Ashling for the very posh picnic. Yeah.